Georgetown, South Carolina. Really, really cute. Charming, actually. But not a uh, center for marine hardware. God, you'd be surprised. Look at all these boats. I don't know. They must be going someplace else. Down to Charleston. Myrtle Beach. Ah, don't we have friends in Myrtle? Oh, we got friends everywhere. <laughs> all right, we zeroed out. Oh, yeah. Uh, can you let me know at 25? 25, yeah. We always use BioSide because we actually don't use the diesel that much. We try not to motor all that much. So this diesel could be in the tank for the next four months. So might as well put some BioSide in there first. Because you will get algae in your diesel tank if you're not treating it. And that is a big mess to clean up. We finally got our weather window north. And it looks like it's going to be a bit of a blustery one. Brisk. Brisk southwest winds. And great news is we don't have any thunderstorms in the forecast for a couple of days. So it should be relatively quiet. But as I'm standing out here, I'm getting bit by the noceums. I'm sure we're gonna get attacked by the flies on the way out of here. Beautiful spot, but quite buggy. Rolly out here. Canadian Ridge of High Pressure. Thank you, Canadian friends, for sending this dry air mass down here. We are wearing warm clothes. It's a little chilly. Well, the winds are, are south, southwest. We are on our way to, I think, Cape Lookout. And uh, we'll actually have to slow the boat down here overnight so that we don't get there in the dark because we are moving along at eight plus knots and uh, that puts us there at like 3.30, four in the morning. So we'll slow it down overnight tonight. We almost always reduce sail for the overnights. Slow it down. So we'll slow it down. Just getting ready for the night. We are down to just the head sail. We're still doing seven knots. <laughs> We're gonna get there about daybreak. Anticipating the wind's gonna pick up into the low 20s and we'll probably have to reef down just a little bit more overnight tonight. But following seas, pretty comfortable aboard. You look chilly. I'm actually kind of sweating. <laughs> Fair winds, following seas. I get it. I like me some following seas. We've been wanting to get to Cape Lookout for a long, long time. We had heard so many great things, and we'd had so many weather delays. But with conditions getting much, much worse in the overnight hours as we approached the Cape Lookout area, I started looking at the charts and having second thoughts. The setup was this. We had winds from behind at about 27 to 30 knots pretty much all night and the waves were really beginning to stand up. As I looked at the charts I could see that the entrance to Cape Lookout and the bay there was directly open towards the southwest, the direction that the waves and the wind were coming from. I couldn't find any information really online or in the charts about making that entrance with wind opposing tide. 
But I did find that the entrance to Beaufort and Moorhead City was the furthest east of the larger channels that are recommended for transit. It's a dredge channel, it's deeper, and in the absence of any other better information, we went with the safer bet. We headed towards Beaufort and Moorhead City and what would likely be a pretty rough entrance. Thank you so much. That's pretty incredible. Kind of reinvigorates you when you're looking around going, oh, this is gnarly. That was really sweet. Oh, thanks, Chris. I would say that we had sets in the eight to 10 foot range. Would you concur, my love? Uh, maybe eight to 12. Eight to 12, uh, when you get to these entrances where there are shoals on either side the waves stand up even higher so the mid-ocean swells maybe we're in the eight foot range but as we're making that entrance gosh they tipped up and just the boat was getting thrown all around and i was have i had to muscle that helm like crazy to try and keep us going down the center of the channel which by the way there are notes in active captain saying that the charts are wrong. You need to follow the buoys. So if you're trying to follow the buoys, it's difficult when the waves are so big that the buoys come and go from view, at least the little ones do. So we got our anchor down and the carnage continues. These folks had their jib partially unfurl that actually happened to us with our code zero and there's not a lot that can be done if it will not open back up. feel very safe here. We're tucked in just outside of uh, Beaufort, Moorhead City, right inside the inlet. And while it feels pleasant compared to how it was yesterday on the outside, it's still rather rolly anchorage. We do feel nice and protected safety-wise with the Coast Guard just about 250 meters behind us. We are finally, finally going to Cape Lookout. I feel like we've been looking forward to this for weeks now. Probably some rough conditions here in the cut, in the channel. And then hopefully it's just a quick hour and a half sail to Cape Lookout. It's no doubt gonna be bouncy out here. Tide is going out and we've got an incoming sea, but it's blowing to 15 and 16 instead of 25 to 30. So there's a big difference there. We knew it was going to be a little rough heading out with the current against the wind, but it was way rougher than we thought. And we should have probably waited a couple more hours for slack tide. Well, we were a little too anxious to get to Cape Lookout. Cape Lookout is one of three capes in North Carolina, and we had been told by several cruisers that it is a must-see. We are so glad we, we finally got to go there. We're going to see some wild horses and walk on the beach. It's been a few days since we've been on shore. How many nights? Uh, two or three? Yeah, I'll be ready. Good to stretch our legs. What are those? These are guitar pick shells. Made special by the land. That isn't really just water on the, uh, on the windshield there. That is salt. <laughs> the boat is completely encrusted in salt 
because of the waves we've been taking the last few trips out. So we're actually hoping to get some rain. I hear it. I hear it. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. We need this boat to get washed. Please look at the radar. Uh, sadly, we're just on the edge of this one. The heaviest rain is just moving down to our south. But uh, yeah, the boat really, really needs a good dousing of, of rain to get all this salt off. And it's not just a cosmetic thing. Uh, having a salty boat leads to corrosion. Get uh, more corrosion on the metal parts, and that leads to some rust bleeding onto the fiberglass. So it's important to keep the boat cleaned of salt if you can. Ironic when you live in the ocean. Whoa. Hey, wait, 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 wait. I was just starting the camera. Well, you better hurry. That's our celebratory cake. That was quite a trip. Yeah, we, we earned this one. No kidding. I was still a little confused about whether or not we could have made it into Cape Lookout with those conditions. I think we did the right thing. Yeah, played it conservative. Uh, there was just no way out if we got there and it was too much for us. Yeah, so. and when you're heading right into shore with breaking waves, you know, <laughs> no thank you. a nasty one. <laughs> I'd rather have the dredge channel where the ships go through. Yeah, me too. Well, we recovered from that one and it really helps to have a little celebratory cake. So what is this? This is chocolate keto cake. Mm. And it's made with almond flour instead of regular flour. And then I've got a peanut butter middle layer with whipped cream on top made with stevia and vanilla. So it's so healthy I can just eat the whole thing That's once. right. <laughs> it's really good. <laughs> this is dinner tonight, so. A very special thank you to the patrons. We really appreciate your financial support, of course, but also there's a really awesome community building up over there as well, and everybody's interacting and supporting each other. It's really fantastic to see. Yeah, we're getting some great ideas on video things we can do and the live chats. We've also got our podcast, Under the Sheets with the O'Kellys. That's right, every Thursday. So download that at iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify. And wherever you like to get your podcast, we'll be there. <laughs> thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll talk to you next week. All right, thanks. Bye. See you next week.